Hey everyone, I'm Kimberly Quadra and welcome to another video. So I'm going to be completely honest with you guys. Lately I've been in some sort of a funk. I haven't really been able to get out of it. Um, I honestly don't know what it is, but I know that I'm not the only one. I know that everybody gets into these funks every now and then. So um, whether it be because of personal issues or just because the whole world is completely upside down right now, um, whatever the case may be, um, you know, it happens to all of us really at some point in time. So for today, I wanted to kind of just let my mind be a little bit play with a little bit of makeup, kind of de-stress myself through being creative and playful when it comes to, you know, what I love doing most, which is, you know, anything beauty. So that is what today's video is going to be about. Um, I'm just going to play with some makeup um, and hopefully, you know, I will give you some tips and tricks in between for your eyeshadow, for any eyeshadow look that you guys are interested in doing. So let's get started. Okay, so first things first, whenever I do any face makeup, um, because as you guys can see, baby hair galore over here, um, I like to have a headband to kind of push everything back. Now I do have a stronger hairline on my side, so even if I have a head, so even if I have a headband or not, um, that hair still isn't really covered, but that's okay, I'm really just worried about my baby hairs. So um, these you can get like at Ulta, you can get I think a set of 10 on Amazon for like 11 bucks I think um, or 10 bucks or something like that. These come really really handy. Um, I know you look, you know a lot of people think you look silly in them but I think they're super super cute. They're super comfy and it just makes me feel like, I don't know, it just makes me feel like I'm getting, it, it makes me get in the zone pampering myself. All right, we are back and we are looking fabulous with our big fluffy bow. <laughs> um, so I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit. Um, oh, that's out. I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit so you guys can really see what I'm gonna be doing for today. So of course, we're gonna start off with our base. So for foundation today, normally I use when it comes to every day, I really don't wear makeup on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, and if I do, if we're like going out or something like that, I normally just use the Fit Me powder. Um, it's slightly tinted. Um, so normally I just use that. If you guys see my first video of makeup, which is my summer glow makeup, the whole base routine in that video is really what I do when I wear makeup because I don't like the feeling of wearing too much. But there are times where you wanna get extra dolled up and look really put together that I will use actual foundation. So when I do, um, I use the Tarte uh, foundation. However, for today, um, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Clean Fresh foundation. Um, it's vegan, cruelty-free, and it's with coconut milk an aloe extract. I've used this um, once or twice before and I actually enjoy it. I ma it makes me feel like I don't have too much of a caked face. Um, it's not super super full coverage which personally I don't really need. So if you're looking for one that's full coverage I really don't recommend this one. You can definitely build it up if you want to but it is more on the medium coverage. So this one it does give you a dewy finish. So if you are oily, I'm not quite sure you would be interested in this one. Um, however, you know, sometimes, sometimes it works. Dewy is in. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and put some on my hand real quick. And then I'm just going to grab, oh, I already primed, well, I don't really prime my face. Um, for those of you who have seen my previous videos, I don't really, priming just doesn't really do much for me. Um, so I did just add some moisturizer, um, the Tula 24-7 Moisture Cream. That one is my go-to, so that's what I have on my face right now. So I just have a small amount here, and I'm just going to go ahead and grab the 187 MAC brush. I like this one. 
Um, when I'm not in the mood to use a beauty blender, I do like to use a brush. I'll either use this one from MAC or I'll use this one um, from IT Cosmetics, which is more of a flat top. Before today, I'm just gonna go in with the um, MAC brush. So as you guys can see, it almost looks as though I don't have much foundation, which is okay with me because I'm, you know, like I mentioned, I don't really wear as much makeup. Um, where did I put the freaking foundation? You guys, I really just lost the foundation. Did it fall? You guys, it was literally right next to me. Right in front of my face, are you kidding me? I literally, I don't know what's, my brain, I don't know. Sometimes I'm just like, how? How, how did I survive the day on top of being a mom? Like, if my head was not attached to my body, it'd be gone. It'd be gone, nowhere to be found. So I don't know if you guys can see, but I do have um, sunspots on my cheeks here, and you can see that they're not, they're not fully covered, but it's okay. Like I'm okay with having a little bit of my naturalness come through. What I really look for when it comes to having foundation on my day-to-day -day basis is that my complexion looks evenly toned but still looking natural still looking like myself so i feel like with foundations like these i like because it makes me feel like my skin is put together like you know i still have bags under my eyes i understand that <laughs> um but it's not it just it gives my whole complexion an even tone um, without making me look like I slathered foundation on. You know what I mean? Um, yeah, so my main focus for today will be my eyes and not my face. So that's why we're not going too, too crazy on the foundation. Now that we are done with the foundation, um, I'm going to go ahead and um put some concealer again my go-to concealer is the um, shape tape by Tarte um, I am in this I was gonna say I'm in the size I'm in the shade medium which is 35 N um, I'm just gonna grab the wand here and then I'm just going to I think that um, I really just want to have today's eye look be colorful and then have my face be um, like that dewy, uh, that dewy look, you know, with a little bit of highlighter, some nice shine or some nice glow to it. I feel like that's the look I'm going for today. Yeah, I mean, if it wasn't for makeup, of course we would all be beautiful in our own way. But makeup just makes us feel, I don't know, it makes us feel empowered a little bit. It makes us feel good. And for me, it makes me feel alive. <laughs> it makes me feel like I'm not a zombie walking on planet earth okay now just to brighten that up a little bit i'm going to use a, um the shape tape again but this side but this time i'm going to be using the light light neutral i remember when i started doing makeup when i was younger um i'm only adding a little bit in the inner corner by the way um but when i was little starting with makeup you know you see um, girls in you know on the TV or in you know photo shoots magazines whatever and their eye and their eye would be really really nice beautiful and bright so I thought you know you needed a concealer that was like super bright um, yeah that was definitely the mistake 
I did when I was younger because then I looked like, in pictures, it would be like white, dark. It would not, it would not be cute. It would not be cute. Oh, the things we learn as we grow up. Or how times have evolved, really. The whole like makeup community, beauty community, just everything, everyone's, everything's just, a, you know, evolved so much that it's just, it makes life so much easier. You don't have to struggle as much. <laughs> okay, now when you are blending underneath, you really want to make sure that you're doing quick taps. You're not um, wiping because then you're just gonna wipe off your foundation and that's not what we want. We want it to blend together. So once we're done with the base, I'm gonna go ahead and set it with um, some translucent powder. Um, I'm gonna set my under eyes and my face. Now normally I use the Morphe translucent um, finishing powder on my under eyes, but I can't seem to find that one. Um, so for my under eyes, I'm just gonna use the e.l.f. Um, HD powder in the color Sheer or Translucent. Just gonna grab a little bit of that. I'm gonna grab just a big kabuki brush and I'm just going to slightly pat under. Then for the rest of my face, um, just because I did use that light um, sort of medium finish um, foundation, I'm going to use the um, Fit Me loose powder, um, the one that I was talking about. It is slightly tinted, so it's just going to give me a little bit of extra touch, but again, it's not going to make it look like it's so much. I'm not going to touch this powder um, under my eyes because again it is tinted and the whole point is for um, your under eyes to be brighter so I don't want to actually add more color to it. That just happened. That just happened. <sighs> Anyways. Okay. Um, so next step, I'm going to do my brows. Um, so as you guys know, I did micro shade ombre powder my brows um, not that long ago and I absolutely love them. Like I can wear absolutely nothing on them and they look colored in they look nice so I don't really um, fill them in as much anymore but because I still need to get them touched up I like to kind of sh kind of give it that extra clean sharpness when it comes to uh, when I do my makeup so I won't fill them in necessarily for today, I'm going to be using the Patrick Ta Four Brows. Um, this is like the, I love this one because it gives you that um, like fluffed look on your brows. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do this first on my brows and then I'm just gonna go under it and just touch what's left. Um, I do have the colored one um, just because my brows are dark so I feel like you know going clear just won't make use to it plus you can't really tell that it's a tinted one it to me it, it makes no difference I have some stubborn hairs um, especially in my arch area that just don't want to stay in formation so this works really really great for those brows And I definitely need to trim my brows. Woo-wee, I didn't realize how much I needed to. All right, so then you're gonna go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna just 
Latin. Okay, I zoomed you guys in just a little bit more. Um, so as you guys can see, I, I just trimmed my brows. My goodness, they were in desperate need. So they, like, look how, like, gorgeous that looks. So I'm just going to go ahead um, and kind of flatten those out a little bit because I don't like mine too brushed up. I'm going to do my other brow off camera. I'm just going to outline that just a little bit. You guys know how you have that one eyebrow that like does not cooperate? This one. This one has the hairs that want to like fall down and it drives me insane. So as you guys can see, I did, the only thing I did with this one is underline the bottom here. And see how much more of a difference that makes? It makes it look like the form is there to make it full. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this eyebrow. Now, you can see those hairs wanna, there we go. Same thing with this eyebrow. I'm gonna use the Anastasia um, Dip Brow Pomade. I use the shade Ebony because my eyebrows are super, super dark. Um, so I'm just gonna grab a little bit of that. And honestly, I'm just going to follow underneath here. So I'm gonna go slightly. So I'm just gonna, whatever is left over, I'm just gonna go ahead and flicker like a short little hair-like stroke underneath there um, to kind of elongate that tail a little bit. And then I'm gonna go all the way towards the beginning of my brow. And that is it, that's all I'm gonna do. I'm not going back in my dip brow um, in the pomade because I don't, my eyebrows really don't need much more of, of that product. Now whenever I start using the dip pomade um, and I you know, flatten everything out like you're supposed to, I tend to roll it because if I do this, I feel like I'm swiping away the product and I'm swiping it upwards, which I don't want. Um, so as you guys can see, I'm just going to leave my brows just like so. Um, that, you know, natural fluffiness. Um, and then just, and all I did was add the brow, brow pomade at the bottom and you can see it just gives it that full formation and ties everything together. All right, guys, so I went ahead and did one eye off camera. So this is what we have for this eye look today. Super, super colorful, super, super pretty. Um, and then obviously popped on a lash to make it a little extra. But the eyeshadow palette that I used for this look today was the Revolution, um, the Makeup Revolution Forever Flawless Birds of Paradise. Um, this one is super, super colorful, um, and it's actually not a bad price point. I think it was like $15, um, and then, I mean, the colors are gorgeous. They're stunning, super, super pigmented, um, so yeah, let's get started. I just realized I was talking for a good minute, and I wasn't even recording. See? See? My head, if it wasn't screwed on and be completely lost anyways for my cons um for my eye primer i used the mac um studio finish concealer in the shade nc35 um this is a little bit on the thicker end so just to make it a little bit more creamier i did add the shape tape um tarte concealer just because i wanted um for my under eyes to be just a smidge, just a smidge brighter so because we are working with colorful eye shadows i really wanted them to pop in this look so i'm gonna go ahead and grab as you can see this is when i realized i wasn't filming i'm gonna go ahead and grab a morphe brush i don't know what style this is um but in a brush like this and I'm just gonna go ahead and I picked up that color this green right here in the shade jungle um, and then I'm just stamping that in my outer corner here and I'm working my way upwards 
Um, I'm not swiping by any means. I am stamping it in because I want the color to really grab um, on my skin and then we can go ahead and blend. So once um, you have stamped that, you basically will have like nothing on your brush. So then I'm just going to grab it and just slightly blend that out. The key to um, doing your eyeshadow looks is you need to have a light weight. You need to have a light hand. So because you're gonna be working with multiple colors or even if you're just working with two colors or even one, you really want to make sure that that your hand is light because what's going to make the eye look is the way it's blended. So if you are light-handed, that blending process is going to make it look so much more nicer rather than having splotches of color on your eye. Or just lightly blending that. I'm not worried about how it's starting to look right now because my purpose is to stamp the color the colors that I'm going to use and then blend those together. Let's go ahead with this teal color here and it's called Take Flight. So the same thing with the green. I'm going to just stamp that in my middle, in the middle part of my eyelid. I mean, look how gorgeous that is. Super, super pretty. And you know what's funny? I never really paid attention to this palette. Um, I just, I don't know. I kind of just didn't really pay attention to it. And the other day I was like, you know what? Let me, you know, revisit this palette. And sure enough, it's gorgeous. And like I mentioned, it's super, super inexpensive. I think it was like 15 bucks. And like, it's stunning, it's beautiful. All right, so now that I have that blue on, my favorite, favorite brush to blend my eyeshadows together is the MAC 224. It looks like this. It is the perfect brush to simply blend. It has absolutely nothing in it, so I'm just gonna go ahead and just lightly go over both colors and it just marries them together. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna leave that as is right now. I'm going to add the orange. I'm gonna go in with a Morphe brush. It looks like this. It's kind of similar to my blending brush except it's a little bit more skinny. So I'm gonna go ahead and go in with this orange shade. It's called the Toucan Clay. And I'm gonna go right underneath this brow bone right here. And I'm just gonna stamp it because I don't want to be so pigmented right now. I want to slowly build that color up. So I'm gonna stamp that right in there and then I'm gonna blend that out. I didn't really grab that much on my brush. As you can see, I am starting to blend that out and it was barely anything there. So I'm gonna grab a little bit more and I'm going to slightly ever so slightly add some on my on the top here and then I'm gonna finish blending it out this way just like so and I like bringing my eyeshadows in a little bit depending on the look it really adds a little bit of character when you're using um, more of the outer and inner part of the eye all right, so this is what we have so far. Now, I am just simply making sure that the colors are put together, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add a little bit more as I go. And I'm going to go ahead with this yellow shade right here, and it's the, um, and it's called Cannery. All right, so then I'm just going ahead and stamp that right on my inner corner, or the inner part of my lid. So when I feel like my yellow is pigmented enough, I'm gonna go again, wipe my brush, and I'm gonna go, I'm gonna make my way outward again. 
So we're taking that teal color, take flight, and I'm honestly just stamping it to where I want the color to be. <sighs> Such a pretty color. I'm wiping it off, making sure that's because I do want my colors to flow together. And again with that green. Um, with that green, I'm gonna bring it inward a little bit. And my on the upper lip part. Okay, then I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my oh so dandy blending brush and I'm just blending all my colors together. So now that we did that top part of the eye, I'm gonna go ahead and work on my lower lash. Now for that, I'm going to grab a brush like this. It's a Morphe brush. I really don't know what style this is, um, but it's like a super, super small cone shaped. Um, I'm gonna grab that pink shade right here and this, oh, this one and the shade Vacay. I feel like everyone desperately needs a vacation right now. And I'm just going to stamp that in. Because these shades are more pigmented and were, it's made specifically for the color, it's important that you stamp the color first and then blend because then you'll get that color that you're looking for. And then I'm gonna use that blue shade right here called Macaw. Dip that in. And again, we're doing stamping motions all the way to the almost inner corner. And then I'm going to blend those two colors together in the middle. So that kinda will create like a purple. Just like so. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and grab that color vacay again, and I'm just going to just stamp it. Blue color again, and I'm gonna shape the color. And I'm gonna stamp it. All right, so now that we are done with the whole eye color, I'm gonna go in with this gold um, metallic -y shade um, called Fiesta, and I'm grabbing it in a brush this um the color in itself is very very i don't know if you guys can see it's like super creamy like it's weird but i like it super super creamy um i'm just gonna go ahead and grab that and that brush and then add that to my inner corner here and then up slightly like so such a pretty color now for the eyeliner um, I'm going to be using the tattoo liner from now I still have this um, tattoo liner from the Kat Von D collection I know that they completely like redesigned their whole logo and their whole company because Kat Von D is no longer a part of that but I still have some left of this tattoo liner and I love it super super pigmented and it's easy to use so um, I'm gonna go ahead and just do my winged eyeliner here now I always start with the inner corner some people um, start at the outer corner and work their way in I um, I'm not that I'm not that kind of girl I like to make sure everything else is even before I do my point. Now for my lashes, I did went ahead and curl them and use the Revlon So Fierce Mascara. Now, if you're interested in seeing um, my actual lash routine or how I do my lashes, let me know in the comments down below and I'll definitely throw that in. Now for my strip lashes, I'm going to use um, the Lore London lashes in the style Marquise. Just going to pop those on like so.
All right, now for the rest of the face for bronzer, my bronzer has not changed. I'm using the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in the shade Saddle. I'm gonna go ahead and just use that here just to warm up my face a little bit. Something about bronzer just brings life to the whole, whole face. Ah, oh, yes. So on my forehead here. Nice, and then I'm just going to slightly bronze my nose with whatever is left over. Now for blush, my blush has not changed. I'm using the MAC blush in the shade Desert Rose. Now for my highlight, everything is pretty much the same as my previous videos. Um, if it's not broken, why fix it, right? I absolutely love the highlighters from Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics. Her new ones that she came out, ugh, just divine. Just a slight glow to the whole. It's soft enough so you can be a little heavy handed and not make it look like it's too much. Now because we're going a little extra today, I'm going to go ahead with the Fenty Beauty um, Hustle Baby highlighter and I'm just going to do that right on top just to give it a little extra glow. All right, and for my lips, I'm going to use the Morphe Liquid Lipstick in the shade Jealousy. And I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of gloss, same from Morphe called Pixie. It is a colored gloss, so it's just going to add a little bit more oomph to the color. All right, guys, so that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed this creative, colorful makeup look today. Thank you so much for being here with me. Um, I hope that you were able to kind of get your head a little bit out of the daily routine and just sit here with me and be creative. Um, so I thank you for that. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, please subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. If you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and do so. I'll leave the link down below. Um, and stay tuned for my next video. But until then, show yourselves a little love. Be kind to yourself because you're doing the best you can. All right, guys. Till next time. Bye.